some bits of loot. Here? Nope. Ooh. Chesty chesty. Hey? You can't use that, can you? No, I didn't think hey. so. You can. I mean, we're, we're taking it, but I don't think it's any better than what people have. Yeah, you have a really good sword that we spent a, a bit of money on. Yeah, this only gives you spell points. That's not necessary for you. <laughs> this Ooh! First strike! Oh shit. Once again, we did not heal. So let's start safe. Get you over here. We will form of blades. We'll hide. All out assault. Finish you off. Taunt him over. Lumbering strike. Ooh, that's a charge up. It does remove six armor, but I didn't realize it was a charge up. What should I do? That's fine. We can start whittling them away this way. He thinks moving away will help him. Seventeen is not good. Okay, um... Right, first off... Sundering. Smash him with that. Finish him off. Heal you. Now, this guy will probably kill me. Nope, he's gonna... Oh, good. Tell me. We'll get... Ooh, we can't. Move up here. Fire that off. Fire this off. Fire that. Move one, and kill. Okay. We are definitely screwing up a lot, because we're just not paying attention to basic stuff like health. That could be really good. Okay, well they can use it. I don't know if it's better than what they have, though. Start with that. I think that's us back at full. Definitely better than what we have. Actually, is it better than what you have? Yes. Oh, that's chainmail armor. I can't actually use chainmail on you. Five token? Okay. Really do need a pair of boots as well. Oh, hey dude. Doesn't want to talk to me. Over this side. There's... Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, looks like Daglish actually needs a slight bit more health. Get to full. Should be fine for the moment, though. Ready when you are. Oh, there's a guy hiding around the corner. Ooh. What? Spotted me. Those are bomb guys. 
If they if they start bombing, that's a good thing. Perfect. Oh, you dick. Okay, first off, you blow up your friends. You... Move over here. Fire this off. Ow. Do that? No. Do that. Haunt. You down, why not? I, I don't know. If he starts doing his channeling, perfect. Guy there is dead, no matter what. Perfect. I will fire this. Kill them all. Easy fight. Aw. Poor little guy's still there. Oh no, did we bug? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thought we were after bugging out there. Ooh. Leather tunic. A couple of them can actually use one. But is it better than what they have? That is... What can I do? That's better than both of those. What are we doing? I'll give it to him. Hi. She can have that. Perfect. Now, well... I want to have another bowl of this. And another onion, why not? Anything here? Something glowing down there behind that fire. Oh, 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 that's... That's those symbols we've been seeing. Cooking some tea. Hog. Okay, so that's what the switches do. They turn on these. I guess when we do all of them, we'll open this up. Whatever's in there. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four. We know where one more of those is. But we only have to find three more after that. But... No, there's... Bunch of red guys around the other area, so I can't go searching for the button associated with it just yet. It? This is the trow area. No, no, it's not. Another mercenary token. See any bad guys? No, no, no bad guys. Safe to look here. Well, axe. Bottles. Making our way around, at least. Making our way around. Come on, what's around? Both of those paths. Nope. See much else yet. Yes, this Angar's tower. Can't go that way. So we're going in. Okay.
Ooh, this is... This is gaudy. I like it. It's a lovely statue of me. Um, people. And they're not enemies. Of it. Don't go near it. You get sucked in and never get out. Fancy. It did actually kind of hurt my eyes, though. Ooh. Um. That means I can eat the one outside when I go out next. E. Master Falmoth. I regret to inform you that you are three days late with the quarterly installment on the loan that you took out from me last year. As you know, the interest uh, on all late payments increases from 20% to 35% in the first week of arrears, thus the total you currently owe me is 273 skeet. While I appreciate the difficulties inherent in starting a new business, a man of honour must still meet his debts in a timely fashion. If it becomes clear that you are not a man of honor, then I will have to recover what you owe me by any necessary. Lovely fella. I hope this letter finds you prosperous and in good health. Okay. Wow, uh, there, uh, there's just so much glinting off everything from all this gold. Got 10 crates of egg tarts from Mother yesterday. Gave them to charity for a healthy profit. Okay. Wonder what egg tarts really are and who Mother and Charity really are. Had to warn Jurgens about using the old Hodgton market drop again. Stupid Burke can't remember. It's been compromised. Lost an entire shipment of daffodils coming out of his pay. Daffodils. We know what that means. It's drugs! Anyway, uh, sent jug ears two days ago to wait for a shipment coming into Romney Marsh. Haven't heard from him since. Hope the vicar didn't get him. Have to send some of the boys to see what's what. I'm pretty sure the vicar is responding, is referencing, um, God, what's his name? The the new head guy of those sword fathers. I, I can't remember his name. H. It starts with a H. Whatever. It's Phaedra's birthday today. Wonder where she is. Raised a glass to her just now. Probably wish, uh, finish the bottle tonight. Okay. Ooh. Item set of matched jeweled bracers for Aim McGill. Agreed upon price, 500 gold crowns. Agreed upon forfeit, a fingernail for each week, full amount unpaid. Notes paid in full before delivery, polite and honest, happy to work with again. When your fingernails are at stake, you do not mess around. Let's see, runic greatsword with gold inlay scabbard for Duke or Tren of Brath. Agreed upon price, 2,000 gold. Agreed upon forfeit, firstborn child if price not paid in a year. Forced to take child. Fortran locked child in tower. I'd made the lock. Crowns paid after third day child returned. Okay. At least he got the kid out. Silver brooch with design in onyx for Lady Breed of Erin. Uh, agreed price. 300 agreed forfeit. Revealing her secrets to her lord. Paid in full and glad I am of it. Knew <laughs> none of her secrets. Oh, 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 you slimy cunt. Uh, ceremonial armor and shield for King Tullin of the Bay. Agreed upon price. Oof. 10,000 gold crowns and certificate of royal patronage. Damn, that's a good hustle. Forfeit. King Tullin's crown, scepter, and orb taken by me at signing. King Tullin's men attempted to rob me of armor, shield, crown, orb and scepter upon completion of work anticipated this and gave all to his rival baron clyden who defended me then paid me from the royal treasury when he assumed the throne Ooh, ooh, smart very smart 
see two gold and fast rings for the bard Ranalt McDermott and his bride. Agreed upon price, 200 gold. Forfeit a song to my wife and I each night until debt paid. His son sings for me now. 37 crowns left to pay. Oh. How little is he paying him? Shit. Uh, long axe with Einar markings for Isbjorn, bear priestess, Riga, Ellen's daughter. Eichen's daughter. Uh, agreed upon price, 800. Forfeit. Bodyguard duty one day per week until debt paid. Collected much gold from other debtors during month bear priestess was in arrears. Well, putting people to work. That's pretty good. Ooh. No, no. Just more random glittering. Okay, Duke. Let's have a chat. Well now. Who's this here? Don't be shy. Come ahead. Oh, you even sound slimy. Ugh. Wait, let me read your mind. You want a way out of the city. Am I right? Of course I am. With the paladins corking up poor old Scarabray at both ends, what else would you be looking for? Well, it'll cost you a favor for a favor, eh? Now, I've got lads protecting my interests all over town, but with all this turmoil, I am a few hands short, and I need someone to retrieve some uh, property that was stolen from me. Some shady coves in oots and roads walked off with a few crates of them. Picks and shovels, yeah. You get them back for me, I'll get you out of town. Deal? Oh, of course it is. I wonder what they really are. Picks and shovels. Uh, doesn't sound quite right. Now, um, because a lot of you viewers, according to the st uh, statistics, are from the US, you might not have heard of the show called Only Fools and Horses. If you've never seen that or don't know what it is, look it up, because he is exactly like Del Boy, only a bit, a, a lot more successful. So, um, why do you live here, dude? Why, because folks are afraid of it, ain't they? Keeps out the snooks and the paladins. Also adds to my fearsome reputation. A man would have to be a dangerous individual to live in such a scary place, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. So, what's the big black hole about? The ravenous null? Ha! I call it me trapdoor. Anyone gets too inquisitive around my front parlor, so whoop! Away they go! Never to be seen again. No idea what it is. It was there when I moved in, and there ain't no way to move it, so we just left it there. Adds to the ambiance, don't you think? I think it's fucking loud and annoying, but uh, you know what? You've got a deal! They're hiding the girl somewhere beneath the slums. Give me your map and I'll circle the approximate. <sighs> Never anything for free with a duke. Okay, can I look in here yet? Ooh, I can. I can. Um. No, not that. Oh, I have to go outside to see where this is. You know what? I will. I'll do his quest because I have to come back to him. And what's the point in looking around the tower now if I have to go out and come back anyway? So I'll go out, I'll come back, I'll look around the tower, and then move on. Besides, the stuff in the tower could be stronger than me, so I need to work my way up in, in skill and levels and all that. So. Oh. A Barabi. Who are you? Gosh, the thieves you seek are very close. Okay, Sybil. You wonder how I know you seek the thieves, yes? You wonder who I am? Well, I am Sibali, the stiletto. And I have watched your clumsy progress since Night Archer Street. I too wish these men dead and intended to attack them alone. But an alliance is a wiser choice, yes? Damn right it is. 
always better to have a few chumps be in your meat shield. Oh, who are you? It is a Barabi name. I am from the golden city of Senar, one of the wonders of the world. Oakley Doakley, so you call yourself the Stiletto. I was trained as a daughter of the Brass God, an infiltrator in his war against his siblings. But then I was cast out, and, well, I have put my skills to other uses, and thus earned my name. That's nice to know. So, why do you want to kill him? Until a few days ago, they were my companions. But that was before I knew their true nature. Now they are my enemies, as are all their kind. Okay. Well, sounds like you are good people, so... I have to get rid of somebody if I put you in the party. But... Excellent. Level 10! Oh, oh, oh! I'll bring you back in later. I want to get a level 10. I am ready. Well, you can be ready all you like. I want to see what skills you've got. Blood for blood. Deal 16 physical to a target and take 4. That's a reasonable trade. I'm fine with that. Raise or strop for 3 turns. Each attack deals 8 bonus physical. Oh, channel 1. Play that at the end of a turn. Oh my god, that. On top of that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now hide in the shadows. You know what? I'm fine. I'm fine with those skills. You can keep hiding the shadows. Do that. These boyos are somewhere over here. Do that. Did you hear that? A true mystic escaped the paladins the other day. Really? That's good news. Aye. The small medium is still at large. Oh, you little... I'm going to strangle you. <laughs> God. They're going to spot me before I spot them, unless... I do this. Okay. You know what you you just go ahead and razor strop. What should I do? You, you can hide in the me. shadows and Do I want to do that? No, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Umbring is good. Taunt him. A lumbering strike. Yeah. I will. Give you. I'll put down some caltrops just to do a little bit of damage on everybody. And if they start moving right. around, it'll be interesting. Um. I'll leave it at that. See how we do. Oh, poison? Oh, shit. Oof. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Razor Strop is not gone off, but she's got Einar Temper. This combatant Two bonus strength. Okay. You know what? Blood for blood. That will take out... We'll almost take him out. You know what? I'll fire this off on him. Perfect. 
you. Do that. And hit him. One or both of you are going to die. I'm sorry, but there we go. There's one dead. There's another dead. Move. Channel. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Now. Fire that off. Move over one. Finish him off. Then. Thundering smash. Hit with that. And next turn, he's dead no matter what he does. Tell me what you need. I'm going to move and give him the, the big mangar. Perfect. Have to heal up my boyos, but. Got him taken care of. Let's see, Oop. the broth. Use it up. Come on. Perfect. It is imperative that the digging begin even before Scarabray is ours. Gather all the tools you can and drive your captives hard. We must not fail. Oh, were, were they actually using digging equipment? Did they actually steal digging equipment off him? Well, that's somewhat unexpected. It was a quick and easy little journey out. Now, hopefully he'll let us root around his house. At least for a little while, anyway. Hello, dookie old boy. Got your stuff. Ah, my picks and shovels. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well done, well done. Now. Done your bit, so I'll do mine. Take this key. It'll get you out of the city by way of a passage the paladins have never even heard of. You'll be safe as houses. That's good to know. So, jugs of Amberty brandy. Oh, do I want to? You know what? Screw it. Picks and shovels on the lid. How is I to know? <laughs> the fellow I bought them from must have been trying to avoid the tariff on foreign plonk. Disgusting what dishonest importers will get up to, ain't it? Ah, sure, it happens. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Anyway, where's the door? Well, now, there's a street down here called Sinister Street that seems to go on forever. But that key in your pocket. And hey presto, a door will appear, and you're off to the Vedish lowlands. Sounds good. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> okay, so we know where that thing is. That was there was like a mist or something and just kept moving the end of it further and further along. Oh. Oh, so that's why they stole those crates. <laughs> Idiots. Reminds me of a song my old grand used to sing, digging down to heaven. Hell is above us and heaven's below, so steady as you go, boy, steady as you go. I always thought it was nonsense. Maybe not, eh? Well, who knows? Who knows? So, enjoy your booze, man. We're gone. We're gone upstairs to... Oh, wait, hold on. Before we do that, let's, uh... On. Now we'll go.
I want to see exactly what's in this tower. His, uh, his reliquary might be in here. Oh, there's another one. Walking into story. No, I'll bind here for now, and I'll consume it on the way out. Okay. What does this do? Okay. Bit obvious for something there. 